Someone tell me, whenever you celebrate a tragic, tragic passing of someone on their anniversary of their death, do you celebrate with gunfire? Black Pill Red here. A uh, couple of things I wanted to chat about. Um, when I last time I checked, Floyd wasn't in a military, so I, there was no twenty-one gun salute. But there were a lot of gun gunfire at this situation here. You just saw it yourself. This happened in uh, Minneapolis at. Uh, George Floyd Square. I'm not sure if it's official George Floyd Square, but this is the location where he was uh, tragically uh, killed. And they, a lot of shrines and memorials have been placed there. Now, I'm not mocking a man's death if, in fact, all of that happened. But the agenda is strong. Is the only thing I'm going to say. Uh, check this article out. Shots fired near George Floyd Square, one person injured on anniversary of Floyd's death. Now, if we get into the article here. It says at least one person was injured. Let me straighten this up real quick. At least one person was injured in a shooting that occurred near George Floyd Memorial site in Minneapolis on the anniversary of his death, authorities said Tuesday. The victim was taken to Abbott Northwestern Hospital before being transported to Hennepin County Medical Center for injuries that were not life-threatening, Minneapolis police said. Uh, the shooting occurred shortly after 10 a.m. on Tuesday in the 3800 block of Elliott Avenue, Minneapolis police said in a statement. The incident occurred a block away from the intersection where Floyd died, which has become an ongoing memorial known as George Floyd Square. The suspected shooters were last seen driving away from the scene, according to police. No other details, including a motive for the shooting or identity of the victims, were immediately available. Now, as far as I know, you don't celebrate someone's tragic passing with a shooting. At least, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just lost for words on that one because this is supposed to be a, a, a day of celebration or something like that, right? To remember. This guy, but yet, you know, you shoot up the place and then you, you saw who it was, the people running in the background. There are a couple more angles that are on this that I, I pulled from uh, ABL, uh, ABL's page. So, uh, ABL, I hope you don't mind me piggybacking on what you talked about, but check this. Yeah, yeah folks, check this out. Let me get myself out of that. Bill of comprehensive police reform uh, to be uh, to just got to be careful here with some gunshots. Excuse us, excuse us.
it sounds like gunshots, I'll let you know what this is. These seem to be gunshots. And then he's going to come up with, uh, maybe I'll put another uh, angle Shit. on here too. Shit, where is that? We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Minnesota and Minneapolis to observe nine minutes and 29 seconds of silence uh, representing the nine minutes and 29 seconds that Derek Chauvin knelt on George Floyd's neck. But, hold on. Go, go, go. We're going to check in with Alex in a bit. It sounds like there may be some trouble there. And now, this was uh, over in Minneapolis, right on the the intersection, near the intersection of where the shooting happened. Now, being black, brown skin, indigenous, however you want to call it, I think I'm trying to train my brain to say indigenous more than I am black because this is black. And as you notice, I don't look anything like that color. Anyway, for us to come together, especially as brown skin Americans, this is this stuff right here has to stop. Now, this had nothing to do with the death or anything like this. Had nothing to do with defunding police. This had nothing to do with anything. All right, these are just knuckleheads out there shooting at each other for no reason at all. Probably over something small. But I'm not done. Check this video out. That has left a young woman with very serious injuries. Our thoughts are with the family of Sasha Johnson, who are being supported by specially trained officers. A dedicated team of officers and detectives are looking to find out who is responsible for this incident. They're making good progress, but we need the public to help us. From our inquiry so far, we've established that Sasha had been at a party at a house in Consort Road in Peckham early on Sunday morning. At around 3 a.m. a group of young black men dressed in dark clothing entered the garden of the property and discharged a firearm. They'd left the scene before officers arrived. We were aware of Sasha's involvement in the Black Lives Matter movement in the UK and understand the concern that this will cause some communities. However, I wish to stress that at this time there is nothing to suggest that Sasha was a victim of a targeted attack. We're also not aware of any reports of threats made against her prior to this incident. I want to take this opportunity to reassure you that we're doing everything we possibly can to identify those responsible and to bring them to justice. Tackling violent crime is one of the Met's main priorities and we want to keep people in London safe. Members of the public are, have got an, an important role to play. So we need the public to come forward with any information they have, even if it's really small. If you have any information about the events of Sunday morning, we need you to contact police immediately. Please contact us on, uh, by calling 101. You can also report information anonymously to Crime Stoppers by calling 0800 555 111. Thank you. What more can you tell us about these men who entered the guard? Is there any indication that they knew Sasha? No indication at all. Uh, we have all the information that we have about the uh, suspects is that they're black, that they're men, that they were in dark clothing. So if anyone has any information at all, please contact us. Is there any update that you can give us on Sasha's condition? Sasha is seriously in in hospital at the moment and we're monitoring her condition. Are you, do you feel that there's a possibility that people do know who carried out this attack and that maybe they are protecting those responsible? We feel that there is someone out there who must know who's carried out this attack. 
Uh, the people who carried out this attack do not deserve protection and we need people to come forward and help us to find what's happened and bring those people to justice. Okay, I want to point out a few things that I thought was very interesting. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a few articles, but I'm only going to point out a couple of lines in those articles, okay? Now, you, you know me. I'm a man of words. I want, I want to point some things out to you because I want to show you something of what the media does, okay? And then, and then I'm going to show you... Um, I don't know if you guys remember, if you're old enough to remember, I'm 51, and I used to remember this radio show, uh, Paul Harvey. And one thing about Paul Harvey, what he would do is he would tell you a story, and the story he tells you is a bland story. He leaves out names and everything, but he 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 pulls you in because you want to know more about what's going on in the story he tells you. The name of the segment was called The Rest of the Story. He would read this this stuff, this innocuous stuff, and right, and get you intrigued. And all of a sudden, he says, "And now, the rest of the story." I'm gonna show you something, okay? But check this out first. All right. Uh, let's start on this side over here. Can't, can't bring it in, can bring it in a little bit more, yeah. Black Lives Matter UK it tweeted that it expressed shock and solidarity over the shooting of Sasha Johnson, a young uh, woman and fearless uh, political campaigner uh, who was at the forefront of many BLM protests last summer. All right. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find what it says. Uh, okay, here it is, right here. I'm, I'm overlooking it. It says the Metropolitan Police forced, uh, the excuse me, the Metropolitan Police Force said the 27 year old woman was in a hospital in critical condition in critical condition after being shot in southeast London early Sunday uh, it did not identify uh, her but said there's nothing to suggest but but it was a targeted hit or that the woman had received credible threats against her life before the incident now I just want to point that out okay pay attention to that she really she received credible threats before the incident Okay, but that's not the only shooting that I really wanted to talk about. Now, I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with uh, Sasha Johnson. Sasha Johnson, she's a political activist over in uh, in London. So uh, let me show you something. Just uh, I don't want to show you too much behind the scenes because I have a lot of folders open, so I have to close some stuff. Anyway. I want to show you something and I want to point out something because you know how I am. Uh, you know, I'm a man of words. So, and uh, uh, like I said, I'm not the best. I'm not. But there are, you know, bullet points or trigger words or whatever you want to call it that uh, uh, I'm going to show you something. Then I want to show you this. Now, an activist that led demonstrations last year in, in Britain was critically uh, was critically conditioned after being shot in the head Sunday, her political party said. Now, let me bounce around this article real quick and I want to show you something right here. The Taking the Initiative Party said Sasha Johnson received numerous death threats. Okay, that sounds legit. All right, so let's go to the next one. 
this one here, I believe is Yahoo. And it's, uh, it's uh, no, this is the Guardian. This is the Guardian. And they also talked to, talking to the initiative party, announcing to the social media Sunday, the official group page. Parties explained the incident happened early in the morning. But uh, uh, here it is right here. This, it was a great sadness that we inform you that our own Sasha Johnson has sustained a gunshot wound to her head. She is currently hospitalized and in critical condition. The incident happened in the early hours of the morning following numerous death threats. All right. Now, if, if this is true, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you if it's true or not. But like I said, it's kind of in junction with the other one. Right? It's in junction with the previous report we just read. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Now, this one here is CNN. Let's see what CNN has to say. All right. Let me bring this over. Says uh, activist Sasha Johnson is in critical condition after being shot in the head in uh, London, according to a political party. And of course, the same thing is with great sadness. And uh, she's in intensive care. The party said the attack happened following numerous death threats as a result of her, her activism. Okay. In line with the first two that we read. Okay. It sounds like, okay, maybe everybody is on the same page. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. So where are you going with this one? Well, I'm just curious. I want to, you know, I'm just going to keep on going because I have some, some, you know, some other things here that, that I thought was strange. All right. This is what are what is this? This is I'm trying to get the name of the this is the independent out of UK. Alright. And it says pretty much the same thing. And it guys it, it got a little more technical in this one. It said that uh, she was shot in the head after four men open fire at a party in South London, police uh, reveal. Okay. I got that. That actually got a little more into it because the other ones didn't say that as I, as, you know, as I was reading through there, but, uh, I started skimming through this article. Oh, wow. Where did it go? Where'd it go? Right here, they said, uh, the commander says, we are aware that Sasha's involvement in the movement in UK, and I understand the, cert, uh, the concern and this will cause in some communities. However, I wish to stress that the, this time is not to suggest that she was a victim and a target. All right? So, it's kind of leaning towards the whole up. We're not saying that she was targeted. We're saying it was a shooting. Hmm. Slightly different from the first three. All right. I mean, the first, yeah, the first three. This, this is the fourth one. So it's, it's a little different. But again, in the article, they said that she was, uh, her friends say that she had uh, some death threats and, and was targeted. I'm kind of curious about that. But that's, you know, that could be on the same page. That could be the same thing. Now, the rest of the story. Now, this is straight out of London right here. 
this is actually one of their primaries. The Telegram is one of their primary newspapers there. And uh, one of the leading newspapers uh, there in that area. And uh, it says it right here. She was shot at a party. The mother of two is in intensive care and incident in South London. It's, uh, the taking the initiative party has confirmed calling her strong. All right. It says the, the activist was shot in the head after being caught up in a drive-by shooting between rival gangs. Friends have said, which left her fighting for her life in the hospital. Sasha Johnson, a mother of two beautiful sons, an anti-racism act, anti activist, was shot at 3 a.m. on Sunday in Peckham, South East London, near a house party. Let me blow this up a little bit so you guys can see that. All right. Ms. Johnson, who was on uh, Monday in critical condition, is leading uh, is a leading figure for the UK arm of the movement, and once likened the police uh, to the Ku Klux, you know. And in the incident is suspected uh, to be the result of gang violence or some type of dispute between two different gangs. Uh, Ms. Johnson's friend said on Monday, the 27 year old whose friend says they, uh, they had recently relocated to London from Oxford and was uh, highly involved in a movement last summer, which swept through the UK after the police killing of an unarmed black man. Don't that sound familiar? Uh, I guess they talked about the, the Floyd situation in the U S a year ago. Now it, it happened in, in, in there too. So, Okay, and Miss Johnson was uh, uh, was the face of the Million People March from Nottingham to Hyde Park in August last year. Uh, let me see. I'm I'm looking for something. Okay, no, it's not in this part. She got hit in the crossfire. And, you know, it's one of those things where you ask yourself, what will you, you want to be able to go to a house party and not worry about shooting or anything like that, right? I mean, first of all, but then especially dealing with us, us is, this is the type of stuff that comes out of it. That pride, chip on your shoulder. But anyway, anyway, if you have any other uh, questions or comments or anything like that, jot it uh, below. And right before you get to that comment section, there's a thumbs up button over there. Go ahead and hit that for me if you don't mind. Uh, share it as well. All right. Uh, until the next video, Black Pill Red out.